Wow. Thumbs up. At California State University Northridge, students are working to perfect the art of robotics. Pointing to something, peace sign. That is incredible. All the way down to the joints and ligaments. It has these supports, these fibers that we have in our human hand. The creating arms with one model after another, inching closer to full mobility, but most surprising of all, they're giving prosthetics a hand by making the most of our toes. Doing all this with, with just, just your toes? Just my toes. Developing new prosthetics is more important than ever. One group estimates 500 people lose limbs every day in America. Meanwhile, some studies estimate 44% of amputees stop using their prosthesis. They tried, and at some point they said that it's, it's very heavy or it's uh, unreliable. But what if you could control how an artificial hand worked by using those little digits on your feet? It's like buying new shoes. Here you go. Ooh, nice! <laughs> and to practice that fancy fine motor skill footwork, they're using Here. virtual Good. reality. You'll be able to pick them up. Each block has a different word. The research and development isn't just for amputees. We are targeting to design a wearable robotic arm that can be used by people who have injury. Who Wait, have hold on. You're talking about giving us, like, I have two arms, and if I want a third arm exactly. or a fourth arm. Exactly. And it can also be useful for those who have injuries for, like, for example, rotator cuff right. surgery, full ca hand cast and so on, broken arm. I've got two little ones at home, and I yeah. could definitely use a hand or two. All of this tied together by AI, which is helping design a more user-friendly prosthesis. So all of a sudden, AI has, has almost become like a, a sculptor for you. Yeah, absolutely. We can tell it that we want something that's strong, that's light. We can give it some initial inputs where we want certain attachment points to be, which is something take a human hours, days, weeks to do that. The school is backed by software giant Autodesk, and they've contributed millions to open the new Autodesk Technology Engagement Center. It's really mind-blowing. Uh, it, it just becomes really clear that these are the future innovators and creators that are going to lead these industries. And the university's president is hoping these models could enter the market in a matter of years. I hope the future looks like everybody has access to the full range of body motion and technology they need to thrive in society. We thank you for watching. And remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.